Saki uh, apologizes he cannot be here. And uh, <laughs> uh, he sent me actually uh, all the material for the presentation that he was supposed to give. Uh, and I'm only showing you three slides. I have uh, made a very uh, short selection, but all this material will be available on the website of, the, of this conference. Um, and uh, I also have to say that the initiative, uh, the Japanese initiative for the International Year of Crystallography was probably one of the most active, to be honest. So you can find uh, uh, the link to the, uh, to the, to the web page for, uh, for this initiative in Japan on, on the website of the International Year of Crystallography and, uh, and see all the things that they have done. Um, since we are in a session on uh, large-scale facilities and uh, possibilities that the large-scale facilities can provide to our young uh, crystallographers and students, uh, I just want to, uh, to show one of the initiatives uh, that uh, uh, Masaki Takata, uh, together with uh, Springgate, um, and uh, the Japanese uh, Society for Crystallography has done through this uh, Kaon School. I don't know how many of you know of this Kaon School, uh, which is quite a well established. And uh, Claude was there, I think, last year. Or, mm, well, uh, uh, but uh, uh, this is a well-established uh, school, uh, um, annual school that they have at, uh, at the Spring Gate. Um, so you see here all the posters and leaflets from the previous school. And uh, what I want to point, uh, focus on uh, in, in, in this uh, uh, unique uh, message that I want to give is that uh, this, is, this is what happened in the last uh, uh, edition of, the, um, of this Kaon school. And in this case, three African students, which were selected by uh, the IUCR and the, uh, uh, through the Crystallography in Africa initiative, have been invited to attend this school. Um, so th they were supported of course uh, by uh, Springgate and the uh, Syncoton facilities and uh, the role of the union was to select three uh, good students. So I think this is something that the facilities can do. This was something that Jean-Louis was uh, uh, saying before. In a sense the facilities can provide um, the, 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 the training opportunities that uh, students that are attending the open labs, for example, may need uh, in order to uh, have a higher and higher uh, level of, uh, of training in, uh, in crystallography. So I think this is a very, a very good initiative and I, uh, of course, suggest this is also uh, considered by many other facilities. And uh, uh, I had the honor of, uh, to participate in the um, Council of the AOFSRR, which is the Asian and the Oceania Forum from, for the Synchrotron Radiation Facilities last year in Taiwan. And um, it was discussed about this uh, possibility of inviting uh, young students, young crystallographers, in the uh, events that are, organizing, uh, that are organized in the, in the facilities. And it was approved that for the next edition, there will be a budget from the AOF uh, specifically dedicated to young students, uh, possibly crystallography, uh, attending this school from other countries, so not from Japan. Uh, in this case, uh, the, the council uh, decided that it is better to focus on students from uh, Southeast Asia, uh, because it is closer than Africa to, to Japan. But I think this is an initiative that can be also taken by other facilities, maybe in Europe or in America, for the other uh, developing countries. So uh, this is the only message I would like to take from Masaki's presentation and uh, uh, thank you very much on his behalf, of course. <laughs>